thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, people often say to me, why, why do people preserve military vehicles? And when you look into it, you talk to all these guys and girls, they all come up with the same answer. It is to commemorate and remember those that have used them, but especially those who use them and are no longer with us. Uh, one only has to go to Northern France and Belgium to see the carnage of two world wars there in the military cemeteries. And certainly, if it wasn't for these machines, would we be free today to come to this event as we see here at Malthus? Such a wonderful selection uh, from the ubiquitous Land Rover that was used by the forces from the 1940s onwards right through to the more heavier vehicles, the light tanks we have, such a wonderful selection. But at the end of the day, they have all been there to preserve in one way or another freedom for us individuals. So when they line up in the centre, I'll go and have a chat with them and we'll learn a little bit more about them and take it forward. Listen to that exhaust, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic. Well, 
Fred. I think we've had a wonderful display again, haven't we? But above all, we've had a wonderful crowd from all our paying guests. Absolutely superb. Yeah, it's nice to see the same numbers here as the way yesterday, actually. I mean, yesterday was... It was pleasing to put a show on to, to let the people see, but to see a repeat of it again today is just a bonus for us. It's a bonus, fantastic, I'm say. I just turn up and wrap it on, and uh, it's great to see everybody here, because I appreciate the effort that goes into... Really, next year's show starts tomorrow. You start ordering certain things like marquees and what have you, you get it... Uh, and ready for that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming in next will be the classic cars.